YouTube, hey, C494 here. And right now I have my other 12 inch Grendel. Um, some of you guys saw it in a, in a shorter video that I did a little bit ago. Um, so I have two 12 inch 6.5 Grendels. Um, for this one, I've got a like seven and a half inch titanium uh, Form 1 suppressor that I did. Um, I've got a Magpul bipod. I've got a primary arms 4 to 14 R grid scope on it, um, a hyperfire trigger, a I'm pretty sure it's a K2 Magpul K2 grip, and a SBA3 pistol brace, and a law folder. Oh yeah, and a uh, Badger ordnance um, charging handle. I'm a little hungover, guys. I'm sorry. And uh, it's sitting on a primary arms mount. And also have a bubble level and cosine indicator on it. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shoot my hunt and load through it. This is uh, my hunt and load. It's a 123 grain Hornady SST with 27.5 grains AR comp loaded to 2.245 with CCI number 400 primers, uh, three thousandths of neck tension, three thousandths of uh, shoulder bump. Hornady brass. I think I covered everything. Trim length was 1.51. So I'm gonna run a few rounds through this, um, shoot a group, and then I'm gonna slap a magneto speed chronograph on there and get some velocity data. And that's about it. Um, some some of you guys are probably gonna ask me why I have a cosine indicator on this gun, and the reason why is because your danger space is so much smaller uh, with a gun that has a, a lesser velocity. So since I'm shooting a gun with um, a lot slower velocity my danger space is going to be a lot smaller um, so that's why I have that on there is uh, whenever I'm making angled shots it's going to make a, a lot bigger difference than if I'm shooting you know a 22 or 24 inch barrel gun all right let's shoot a group all right so now that i have zeroed my scope and i have my velocity i'm gonna take one bullet and i'm going to shoot at the shield at 535 yards which we confirmed with an lrf so this is going to be one shot, one opportunity. He's everything I ever wanted. Will I capture it or just let it slip? Yo, should be five and a quarter mils, and we've got wind moving from right to left. Yeah. All right, so I shot my first shot. Um, I had the scope mounted, and I had it close to zero, but not quite. So I fired my first shot. I made an adjustment, and then I fired my five-round group. My five-round group ended up being a 1.5-inch group, which, I mean, isn't great, but it's also not terrible. I mean, like, for this gun, I kind of was hoping for, you know, anything less than 2 MOA. And as long as it shot better than 2 MOA, I was okay with it. So one and a half is like right on par with what I was hoping to get out of this gun. So, and also somebody who was a better shooter could probably do better than that. So, anyway, that's uh, that's what we're working with here.